Hi, you guys. This is Prophetess Ophel Sabrina Acampo and wanted to bring you a quick prophetic word that the Holy Spirit spoke into my spirit on today. And as with any prophetic word, you would absolutely want to go to the Lord in prayer, testing the spirit to affirm and confirm that perhaps this prophetic word is for you. Holy Spirit, I invite you in to take full charge, to take full control, to take full access. I decrease as you increase. Allow me to bring forth your word with your glory, with your power, with your grace, with your mercy. Telling your story so your name can be glorified for the winning of souls to the gospel of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ, my name that I do pray. Amen, 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 and amen. Tidy, you guys, of this prophetic word is God's going to meet you right where you are. God's going to meet you right where you are. And so you guys, my friend and I were talking just a few moments ago and she said a rhyme of word that really stuck with me that God will meet you right where you are. Then the Lord began auctioning and speaking it into my spirit and said, come as you are. It does not have to be perfect. But know that I have perfected everything that concerns thee. Then I heard Tasha Cobbs. Wanna be where you are. Gotta be where you are. I wanna be where you are. I gotta be where you are. That he longs for you to avail and dwell in his presence. Avail yourself to him and dwell in his presence. Revelations 3 and 20. Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with them in person and they with me that I long to have that personal one-on-one -on -one relationship with you, that intimacy, that communing, that just that quality time right where you are to just to avail yourself to me and just surrender it all over to me, knowing that you are not alone and you're not even on your own, but knowing that you're his written epistle, read a minute, knowing that if you... Meet him right where he, right where you are, that he's got everything that you need, that you will succeed and you will succeed successfully because he's going to pull you out. He's going to rescue you. He's going to take you by his hands. You got to know that you're up on his righteous right hands and that you're standing according to his plan. You're standing according to his word. You're standing according to his will. You're standing according to his way. I long for you to go deeper into the surface, even if you're scared. The Lord is saying, go deeper. And take my hand, take a risk and believe just like Peter did walking on that water because the Lord wants you to know that you're not going to drown, that he's going to lift you up, that he's got you, that he'll be right there at shore waiting on you to meet you right where you are. That then I heard Victor Thomas song of draw me nearer. That I'm calling for your attention to draw nigh unto me. No matter the circumstance, no matter the situation, he is coming when you invite him in. Jeremiah 33 and 3. Call unto me and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things. Marvelous things that you do not know. He met the three Hebrew boys in the fiery furnace. And he was that fourth man in that fire. And they came out unsketched and they came out without the smell of smoke. I'm going to meet you at your need. I'm going to provide your necessities. All you've got to do is trust and believe and you will see Philippians 4 and 19. But my God will supply all of our needs according to his riches and his glory in Christ Jesus. God, you got to know that God is going to meet you right where you are. No matter the circumstances, no matter the situation, the Lord is saying, Try him and see. I double dare you to try me and see, don't I vindicate you? See, don't I deliver you? I'm pulling you out. My hands are on you. Know that you're up under my righteous right hands. And know that I've got you. You will not drown. I know it's hard, but there's nothing that's too hard for me. The Lord is saying, call me in. 
I'm a friend. I said that yesterday that sticks closer than a brother. I would never leave you nor forsake you, that you are not alone, that you're not even your own, but you're his written epistle, read of many. But you got to invite him in. You got to remain faithful because if you're faithful over a few things, he can make you rulers over many. God's going to meet you right where you are. He would never leave you nor forsake you. You've got to believe it and stand on it no matter what's going on around you. If you stand on his promises of yes and amen, he will cancel out every no for you. And once again, he will rescue you. He will pull you out. He will vindicate you and place you up on his protection, place you up on his direction, place you up on his preservation. He will preserve those ones that stir him. Know that God is going to meet your every need. He's going to meet your necessities. And he's going to meet you right where you are. He's going to make everything complete in your life. He's going to bring everything to full fruition and manifestation and full circle. God is going to meet you right where you are. Thus saith the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I love each and every one of you guys. Always praying for each and every one of you guys. Like, share, and subscribe. You guys keep the comments, the likes, the shares, the words of encouragement, the prayers coming because I am telling you, they definitely keep me afloat. Thank you so much for sewing into this ministry. Thank you so much for the super thanks, you guys. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. Welcome to the fam. And thank you so much, OGs, for continuously keep coming back and holding me down. I definitely appreciate each and every one of you guys. And Father God, I just thank you so much for just giving this word, bringing this word forth by the resurrected, redemptive, and precious power of your blood. Just meeting our needs, just meeting our necessities, just being our source of supply, our provider, Holy Spirit, no matter whether we're fearful, no matter Holy Spirit, what situation we're in, no matter what circumstance we're in, that we believe and receive and declare and decree that you're vindicating us, Holy Spirit, that you're rescuing us, that you're delivering us, Holy Spirit, that you're just like those three Hebrew boys. You're that fourth man in that fire, that you have came to rescue us, that you have rescued Peter, that Peter walked on that water and Peter did not drown. The Lord And Lord, we just thank you that we're swimming through those proverbial waters in this quarter, believing and receiving the Holy Spirit, that we will make it successfully and that you will be right there on shore to lift us up, that you will be right there on shore to place your righteous right hands on us, that you will be right there on shore to pick us up, that you would never leave us nor forsake us. These blessings I am declaring and decreeing and commanding you me that they're in the precious power of the blood of Jesus Christ that I do pray. Amen, 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 and amen. Know that God will make a way out of no way and he will supply and provide all your needs and he will meet you right where you are. It does not matter where you are, even if you don't have anywhere to stay. The Lord is wanting you to know he still will make a way, but you got to call him in that he's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Make that 333 Jeremiah 33 and 3 call that will change it all and see don't the Lord bring an outpour, see don't the Lord bring a windfall and meet you right where you are. He would never leave you nor forsake you. Try him because I'm telling you, he is vindicating you. This is that season. This is that time where he has already worked it out and he's wanting you to know that he's delivering you right now. The same way he did with Peter walking on that water. He didn't drown because he trusted him. The three Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, were thrown into the fiery furnace and the, Jesus rescued them. He was right there, the fourth man in that fire and made sure they came out unsketched and made sure they came out without the smell of smoke. The Lord is saying he's no respect of persons. He's doing the same thing for you. Just avail yourself to him. Know that he's faithful and true. Know that he's faithful to perform it and he's going to meet you right where you are. Thus saith the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I love you guys. Always praying for you guys. May the Lord richly bless each and every one of you guys and see you guys all through to the greatness of success of God's best in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.